So today we got a question from Mylon, and he says that he hears his coaches say, add more pressure to make the bottom person uncomfortable. And he's wondering, you know, how can you add more top pressure? Because, you know, he's not the biggest guy, but he's wondering, like, how can you add more top pressure? That's kind of his, his idea, so or his question. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys not so much a specific position, but I'm gonna show you an idea on how to be really aware of how you're using your body to add more top pressure. This could be really useful if you're a big guy and you wanna really put the brakes on someone, or if you're a little guy and you're trying to like squeeze out just a little bit of extra weight from your body onto the person on the, uh, on the bottom. And uh, as always, this is my lovely assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson. Let's get started. All right, Mylon, so first off, one of the things that may be useful to you um, is basically, first off, being aware of where you're putting your body weight. I know it seems like such a simple idea, but a lot of times people, when they're in position, especially when you're new, it's just the way it is, they're focused on the grips and they're focused on where their, their hands are at and they're focused on setting up the submission and they lose track of where their body actually is. And so one of the things you wanna do is have awareness. Now, I'm sitting like this because like when you go to a yoga class or even if you meditate, one of the things that you might do is you might focus on the sensation of how your body's sitting into the ground, right? Now, so I can, right now I can feel my hip bones, my butt bones just driving into the mat, and that's where the bulk of my weight is. And so what I'm going to ask you to do is when you're training in your gym to do the same thing. So let's say if I get into side control here on Adam. When I get into position, I can feel exactly where my weight is right now. My toes are driving in, but I barely have any pressure on my toes. Almost all of it right now is on my chest, my ribs, driving into his. And one of the things that might be useful to you is a lot of times in side control, even mount, where I try to tend to put a lot of my pressure to make people really uncomfortable is the solar plexus. So if I put pressure on the ribs, typically the, the actual rib cage will, will support it a little bit. If I put weight down here on the, the stomach, we're not really putting much, much pressure up on the uh, the lungs, and you know his fascial muscles can brace. But right where the solar plexus is, right where the rib cage tapers down, if I put the bulk of my weight there, that's the that's I call it the sweet spot. When you come in for guard passes, when you're trying to put a lot of pressure, that's like the spot where you really want to hit. It's like uh, we did a video the other day where we were talking about S-mount, and one of the things that you do in S-mount is you put a lot of pressure there, where once I get here, I'm in that solar plexus with my thigh, and it's a terrible position. So, with this ramble, here's what I'm gonna say. Let's say we get inside control. Really be aware. Is most of your weight on the person or is most of your weight on the on the mat? A lot of times I'll see guys like this, where like right now my elbows are driving into the mat, my knees are driving into the mat. I don't feel much pressure on my partner at all. So what I can do is I can drive in, even on the knees I can do this here, I just gotta really drive my shoulder into the position or my chest into the position. If I slide my body down, I can literally take my knees just an inch off the ground, not even an inch off the ground, but a millimeter off the ground, all my weight is on Adam. If I go to like our modified case Katami position for Jiu Jitsu, I'm here. I can feel that my ribs are really driving into Adam's uh, chest, pull the elbow in, and then lean in. So right now, pulling into me, and at the same time, driving into him. My hips are like a millimeter off the ground, like just barely. I'm not doing this or anything like that. I'm driving into him. So I literally have no hands on the mat, no nothing on the mat except for my toes, driving in. Same thing with reverse case Katami. We get here. Toes are barely, or toes are driving. There's barely any weight on anything other than Adam. We go to mount. You all right, buddy? <laughs> it's like, this sucks. Same thing we get to mount. When I'm here, I don't wanna be up here with all of my weight. Just be aware of that. Like if you're holding mount and you like literally feel that all your weight's on your hands and your knees, let's have our weight on our partner. And again, I can really arch my back here and take all of my weight off the off the mat and put it onto the person. When I have kids classes, I'll tell them to take mount and just to get them used to putting a lot of pressure, I'll say, make the airplane. So when they get mount, they go here. They should be able to take their hands off the mat. Because if you're if you're if you're all your weight's here, that means there's not a lot of weight on him. So basically the idea is that as you're moving through side control, mountains, and all these different top positions, you put the pressure on the person and just be aware. Is your body driving into them or is it driving into the mat? Just a simple idea. But a lot of times people are just not aware of that stuff. They don't focus on it. It's such a simple thing. But it's a simple idea like that that can really change the way that your body feels on someone. And especially when you're talking about top positions like side control, mount, back mount, all these things. You know, one of my coaches, and I've used this analogy before, 
He said it was kind of like, kind of like a constrictor, like a snake coiling around the the, vic, the the prey's body, right? And then slowly getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And every time that uh, that animal breathes and exhales, it gets a little tighter. And it's the same thing there. When you're in side control, putting massive amounts of pressure, every time they're like they breathe and they go. <sighs> They, they just can't expand and get a good solid breath and it just zaps the person's energy until it's really easy to get a submission. So it's really important to have good top pressure. But one of the simplest things that I can tell you right now, just something you can literally implement right now, Mylon, is go to your gym and the next time you're either inside control mount, uh, any of those top positions, half guard top, any of that stuff, or anytime your coach is dr showing it to you and drilling it, be very aware of how does my body connect to the other person? Am I putting a lot of pressure on them or is most of my weight on the mat? A lot of times, especially white belts and even blue belts and so on, they have a lot of weight on the mat and not a lot of weight on the person. Simply doing that by putting all of the weight on the person will just, I mean, that'll make maximum use of the, the actual poundage that you have. So. I think I'm done rambling through this video with you guys, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this is helpful to you. Just be aware of that next time you train. I'm finished. Adam. Adam.